It's an image we'll never forget. Tell me how my son is. What's his situation? Nami Barakat begging for answers from police after learning of a shooting at his son's apartment in Chapel Hill. If he's dead, tell me he's dead. If he's alive, tell me he's alive. Hours later, it was confirmed his son, 23-year-old Dia Barakat, his newlywed wife, 21-year-old Yusra Muhammad, and her sister, 19-year-old Rezan Muhammad Abu Salha, were murdered by their neighbor, Craig Hicks. Execution stopped. Three nights after the shootings, I interviewed both fathers. As a mother, I have to ask this, how are your wives doing? They're taking it very, very tough. It's very hard on them. They're heartbroken. The, I, I can tell Amira is, is, uh, is hardly having any sleep. Nearly one year later, I asked the mothers, Amira Bamia and Lila Berakat, the same question. We are still uh, healing. Hopefully, we will, uh, with time, we'll feel much better. Something b big is missing from my life and my home. Berakat says it's becoming more difficult as time goes on. Because you sense, you feel their absence more. It's harder. It's not getting easier. Yusser and Rezan's bedrooms at their parents' home, the way they left them. This one was gifted from Dia. He wanted oh. his friend to Florida. Nice. So he was at this one. Aww. Bamia proudly showing me their many medals. And the basketball. You said yeah. she played basketball. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, she loves basketball. And Rezan's artistic talents. She wanted to be an architect. That's great. It is. Very good work. <laughs> Very good work, yeah. Bamia says every morning she still stops by their rooms and says good morning to her girls, nicknamed Zizi and Susu. I come to their room and hug their pillows and <laughs> oh, it's tough to live without them. But this is God's wish and we accepted it. Bamia says she feels their presence, and that gives her peace. Better cats agrees. I'm living with them. It's not only when I go to his room. I feel through if them are with me wherever I go. Bamia says in the days leading up to the shootings, her daughter Yusser expressed concern about Hicks. Bamia witnessed one of the encounters. I noticed that he was uh, talking with her, and he was nervous. Uh, uh, and his voice was loud, and she came back to me. I told her, what's wrong? Uh, she told me, uh, this neighbor, uh, this is the second time he gave me a hard time. So immediately I told her, uh, let me talk to him and see what's the problem. She said, no, please, Mom, don't talk to him. He's my neighbor, and with time, he will know us. He will know me and uh, Dia, and hopefully we'll become like real neighbor, a close neighbor. Never in your wildest dreams would you ever think it would escalate to something like exactly. this. Exactly. I don't know why he just went to their apartment and uh, with his uh, gun and did what he did. Uh, there is no cause unless if he planned it. That's what I'm thinking. He planned it. This is something that he planned. Uh, I believe it's uh, because they are Muslim. If you could talk to Mr. Hicks, what would you say to him? He shot Dia again. Why did he shoot him again? He was helpless. You did so many, like six bullets already in his body. And that second one is the killer. Killed me. Because I realized he is the last. He saw it all. He heard it all. He lived it all. He lived the horror. And why is that? I want to ask him why. But their legacy is alive and everywhere. So Hex will be sorry for all uh, the rest of his life. They were kind, uh, gentle, you know, smart kids. Loving, forgiving. Love exactly. They like to help others. You, sir, <laughs> my sweet you, sir, <laughs> with her curly hair and bright eyes. <laughs> And then also very pretty young lady with beautiful black hair and beautiful black eyes. I love her. She's my Snow White. That story that when I saw her in the coffin, she always looked like Snow White, <laughs> white, and she was smiling.
For a few moments, we put the tragedy and tears behind us. <laughs> Three moms sitting together, laughing. We look through pictures and videos as they reminisce about the good times and the memories that will forever live on.